being made this weekend here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, as two brothers are being recognized for being on the same team at the same time. What went through your mind when you found out that you would be recognized at the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Well, it was just like a... It was just like a, a fresh drink after a long run. It's been a lot of years. Over 40 years of trying to get in. Not that other players didn't have to try. Ours was just so different because we come under the clause of the first two brothers to play football on the same team at the same time. Other qualifications are guys that get the bus and the accolades like that, which are deserving. So we don't qualify in that capacity. We just qualify as the first brothers. So quite naturally, it was a great relief just to hear somebody think of me and I accepting you in the hall, which we always have felt over the years that that's where we belong, and knew in our hearts that eventually that it would occur, it would happen, uh, be it the work of God or ourselves or a combination of it all. Now let's go back to 1967 when you were both drafted for the same team. What was that experience like? The, uh, the draft during that time, uh, the, the Buffalo Bills sent a representative of our home to draft me. And, uh, and during the drafting period, uh, my brother was there. Uh, and he was doing some good things in his college, he was attending college, and uh, all of them all American, all that sort of thing. Same thing was taking place with me at Purdue. We had an American, all-star, all the games. And uh, during the negotiation, we were off for bills at that time. And my dad and my brother, representatives from Buffalo Bills saying that what about drafting both of my boys instead of one? And uh, Big Gallagher uh, contacted Ralph Wilson, pitching back there with Ralph Wilson, owner of the Buffalo Bills, contacted him and said, he said, look, he said, these King boys, he said, we're only going to draft one. And uh, it looks like they're both interested in coming to Buffalo. What do you want to do? And uh, Rob Wilson said to him, fine, draft them both. And we were really excited about that. We signed a contract, both of us ended up in Buffalo. And as a result, history was sort of made. We didn't know about any history at that time, but uh, there it is. <laughs> so we were really excited about that. And that's how that happened. We both ended up in Buffalo. Okay. Now what was it like playing football back in 1967? Well, it was football was football then. Not that it's not football now. But the corporations run everything right now, so it's a lot of uh, hoorah, hoorah, hoorah. And after you sack the quarterback, you know, one time in the fourth quarter game, I mean, you're getting seven million dollars, you're supposed to tackle somebody. <laughs> but you know, it's still football. But in that day, there were less games. The uh, the uh, the, uh, the players weren't as strong as the players are today. They weren't as big. They weren't as fast. Right now, you have a lot more injuries now than you did back then, but uh, it's, it's still football. You block, you tackle, you get in orders from up to top and pass it through the field. And uh, there was a lot of racism in the, in, the, in the football at that time. Some we knew about, some we didn't. Uh, but our father raised us in the manner so that we knew it was there, so you know it, you fight it, understand it, you just work hard and good things will happen. So we, we, he worked us through that. Both King brothers attended Alliance High School in the 1960s and were noted football stars at their school. They later ended up playing together for the Buffalo Bills. Charlie King, now 66, is the older brother by one year. He played at Purdue University while Tony King played at the University of Finley. They said they were ecstatic when they found out about the acknowledgement by the Hall of Fame. Tony King, also known as Malik Farrakhan, said he found out that there were a total of 333 brothers who played professional football, but him and his brother are the only African Americans to play on the same team at the same time. Ralph Wilson was the owner of the Buffalo Bills when the King brothers joined the team. Current Pro Football Hall of Fame owner Steve Perry said he felt it was necessary for the King brothers to be recognized, especially since Ralph is going into the Hall of Fame this year.
According to the King brothers, the deal with the Buffalo Bills almost didn't happen. At the time, Wilson was the owner of the Buffalo Bills, while Dick Gallagher was the general manager. Gallagher handled the initial conversation, but only discussed Charlie King joining the team. Tony King said it was his father who made the duo deal happen. from the Pro Football Hall of Fame and hope that youth everywhere will know that anything's possible. For Peace TV, I'm Crystal Bird.